What the hee-hawing hell. I think I already said it, but Holly was the one I wanted from the day. Any thought of lust was born. Ah, uh, then, there was Cheryl under the bed. A distraction, as the little fella said. And yet, Sarah Feven then, a flower, more red-lipped than anything you could ever find in hell, or that other place you hated it, when we were eleventeen. <laughs> when we were five and teen, after four years of nerdydom, there was another that I cannot name. It doesn't matter. I got snobbed in a library, my genes were obscene. When we were five and teen. Donna, maybe. The librarian. All my friends asked why, but I was getting wet, intelligent, silent kisses. I was licked. Then there was another Sarah. I think I wanted to be with Sarah, but she wanted to be with Dave. He was okay, but in no way as good as anything, uh, anything as me, she said, when I got her onto her party bed. You were too much of a person, and she left with Dave instead. <laughs> I fooled around then with any girl who responded to my off-the-cuff bull droppings. <laughs> most of us hate strangers talk, but we can have a giggle. Get off. That's what I heard most days. Yet, yeah. someone will at some point become a co-respondent. And someone did. I loved Mary, but I tore us all up like some dark confetti with all my carry-on. I just didn't stop. Oh sure, we had some fun, those days of whatever. Will we remember them forever? You know, those days when the, when the sea is in the branches and the, and the fire crackles like crows and clouds are made of pheasant feathers. And seven years later, nobody remembers if it was love or if we just didn't take care of it. We remember the broken clavicle, the shouldering home from an asthma attack and that hilarious time when the police decide that the kids have had too many E's and dump them back in our lap in a heap for the warning. And then, and then, after all that, I learned to look the greyest of days, left as I was to my own devices, although even my devices were taken out of court. You can't avoid the chasm when you're sitting on the edge. With now to do but count your thumbs and age and piss and moan into the abyss but out of nothingness you can become someone some rather than one again once you shut up and listen become the echo yourself to another's lowing and that's how it was i was the response to this woman now who is all giving and all consuming at the same time whose only ever name could be Petal. And I guess I realise what all the fucking about is for. I think I know love again, maybe, as it is born in our daughter, as it is born and grows in me.